Okay, I am down here where the new Great Southern Metro Park is going to go, which is basically behind the Lowe's and the Walmart Great Southern Shopping Center. I wanted to do an update and see how they are progressing with this park. I've heard some different stories about what they have done, what they have not done yet. And I've heard that they have some paved areas back here. I've heard they have some bathrooms back here. Not sure who the bathrooms are for other than maybe the workers. But I want to check and see. I don't think we went that way last time. Metro Park Boundary. I think we went this way last time. Actually, you know what? I think we did actually go around this way. Because I remember this wetland here being on my right side, not on my left side. I don't know what they consider entering the designated areas. I don't know what those are. I haven't seen any specifically marked areas to enter. This road over here to my left, that's 23 High Street. I believe the wetlands are going to be part of the park. They're not taking them out, which is a smart thing to do. Okay, we are coming up on the section. That over there, again, is the Great Southern Shopping Center. We are coming up on a section now where we went down into the washout area I see some rocks up here which I don't remember before and they did fix this a little bit I remember before when we were here we actually had a rope and had help climbing up this and down it they did make that a little bit more better uh, it's still slick, <laughs> so I'm going to try to be very careful. Sorry, I didn't say I'm all twos. Okay, so they haven't filled this in. As one of the rooms I heard is they filled some of it in for safety reasons. This was a washout. Basically, this washed out from a flood. So, I see that this is all still the same, though I do notice that they have been doing some excavating, so they have been clearing out all that rock, so, okay, let's go over here and look at this. Alright, this is different. That there was open, like all this is, okay? You actually could walk into that area and overlook the uh, active quarry over there. So that all is new, which you can tell I'm in rock. So they filled that in. But they still left this all open. And like I say, it looks like they've been doing some work in here. So I'm gonna assume that maybe they're gonna leave this, which is cool. That's where we just come down right there. So like I said, this is all washout due to a flood. And I think I heard somebody say the reason they had to fill some in 
is to prevent future flooding and for safety reasons. So that hill right there, like I said, is all new. Last time we were down here for the tour, that actually was all, all open, straight over. We could actually walk up to the edge and look out over the, the active quarry. So that's new. So, so I'm glad they didn't fill all this in. When we did the tour, we walked down this way a little bit, 100 yards maybe. I'm not gonna climb that and look over the other side because it's just a quarry over there. This Metro Park is, from the map I've seen, is more linear, which goes the direction I'm going. So I imagine the trail in the park is probably going to come down through this ravine right here or maybe on top on that side. I know when I pulled into the Walmart parking lot, I drove behind and I saw a gravel road back there. I cannot say if that's something they did or if that's always been there. Watch my walk and my step. All these rocks. And trip. I do notice that this valley here is narrowing. I've never been this far down. When we did the tour, we didn't go this far. So I'm hoping it gives me an access to get out of here without having to go back. Not only does it is it narrowing, we're actually going up. So I'm gonna assume that eventually we can climb up out of here. Okay, that looks like we may be to the end of it. Can I get out of here?
Okay. Now this looks like the end, but I'm not gonna to try to climb up that. So I'm going to go back. I don't know if I'm gonna go back all the way. I just go back until I find this a spot that's easy to climb. I am back up on top now. I climbed up one spot. I found a spot that I was able to get out. And I got up to it and I'm walking through this brush here a little ways. And I come across another uh, washout that was full of water. So I wasn't could try to see if I can find my way around. I just come back, went back down in, and followed my uh, same route back out to that one in. I would cut through here, but like I said, we got that wetland over there. I don't know how far that wetland comes over. If I'm gonna walk over there and get, uh, cannot go any further because of the water. So I'm just gonna walk back out to my vehicle. And now I'm going to drive down to the north end. Like I said, this is a linear park. So I'm going to drive down to the north end, because this is the south end. And I'm going to come in from that way and see what I can find at that end. So far, all I've seen is the rocket they put up there, but I've seen no other signs of uh, work activity. And I was told that they have done some paving and they have put some restrooms in. So that may be at the other end. So we'll see you at the other end. All right, now I'm down here on the north end. It took me a few minutes. I really couldn't find somewhere to park. You gotta watch parking some businesses, man. If you're not doing business there, they'll tow your car. Um, I'm actually walking behind Walmart right now. And this is that drive I was telling you about. But I see this little building down here. And like I said, I heard that they did some pavement. I wouldn't call this pavement. And they built a restroom. Is this the restroom? So that's why I want to come down here and look at what this building is. Now I would find it odd that the first thing that they build is a restroom. I mean, Quarry Trails is up and running, but they don't even have an official restroom yet. Porta potties. And that right up ahead of me is uh, Williams Road off of uh, 23. I'll tell you what, this sure looks like a restroom. I don't think there's really too much else back here. We'll follow this drive and see where it goes. Here's somebody coming back here. But yeah, it's a restroom. that was in the truck but whoever that was in the truck was nobody they apparently weren't with the metro parks yeah i can see there's a lock it's interesting though guys there's somebody in the truck coming back here checking it out just like i was so it is true they do have the restrooms built <laughs> I wonder where this road goes to though. I might just follow it just to see. That's probably about it. I'm not gonna go down into all that because it don't really look like there's anything going on down there right at the moment. And I'm just trying to find progress in the park. I have to look at the map when I get home exactly how far up I come from the other direction to where I'm at now. I could have drove 
back here. I find that driving in construction sites is opening yourself up for a flat tire. somebody's homeless camp. I'm just trying to look down there and see what's down there. That ridge over there, probably on the other side of that, is probably the quarry. So that's probably like the borderline of probably where the Metro Park. Again, like I said, this is a linear park, so I know we didn't come that far up. But I'm curious how far we walked up in the ravine to where we're at now. You know, today's Monday. I really thought I'd see some people down here working. So apparently they're not down here every day. Because I have not seen any workers, any rangers, actually nobody. It's like what's left of a f truck upside down. Another truck. There's another one up there. This one's a... This is a car.
any more up there? There's another one. Okay. And more up there. I'm not gonna go check all these out. I'm not gonna go look at all of them. Okay, that is looking south in the direction we were originally at. I'm gonna go back up this hill. I'm gonna walk along the road to the top instead of following this. Alright, it's here. Now the road splits up. But if I was to guess, I'd say this is probably a loop. Just loops around. I'm trying to look over to my right and see if I can see that pile of rocks that they made where they blocked off that one spot. But I haven't been able to see through the trees or see it yet. But I would say. We probably walked far enough south to where we could have met up over there now when we were walking north through the uh, valley or trough or whatever you want to call it. There's another vehicle right there. See if we can see that rock. Okay, there's somebody over that way, so we're not gonna go that way. Yeah, I can't see nothing over there. But yeah, it looks like it just loops around right there. That looks like the end of it anyway. So it's not such a going any further because there's really no further to go. It just loops around, comes back down here again. Now, he may be thinking, okay, this Metro Park's going up in an area where homeless camps are at. You gotta stop and think. Scioto Audubon, down there off of Whittier. Before they built that, that was an impound yard for Columbus Police, but it also was a homeless camp. And they cleaned it up. And now it's considered a really popular and safe place. So, you know, eventually they'll get this together, they'll get it cleaned up, but, so this is going to be Great Southern Metro Park. We've looked at it from both directions, from north side and south side. Uh, January maybe uh, another eight months I'll come back down here and do another update and see how they progressed I'm gonna go out this way because I actually want to stop at Kroger before I take off so uh, it looks like it's gonna be a pretty nice park I'll put a copy of the map on this video so you can see what it's going to look like when it's done.